Hello everyone, and this is like the fifth time I'm doing this video. I'm trying to keep it short, simple, and to the point. Let's try this one again. So, short, simple, to the point. This box has a camera, it has a button, that's the only exterior feature other than the LED, but it's not hooked up right now, it doesn't do anything. Inside, we have battery pack, a Pi, and the cable for the camera, and a GPS module. Now, this all goes together into what you can infer from the title, an ANPR unit. In a weatherproof enclosure that is no longer weatherproof or resistant at all. Um, but the whole idea of this is to make ANPR portable, very portable. You can carry this in your backpack. Um, it's, hell, almost small enough to fit in some back pockets. Um, and it could be made smaller. Besides the point, it is meant to be portable and reliable, kind of. Now, what I mean by portable, I mean you can walk around with this in your hand. You don't have to attach it to a vehicle. In fact, actually, it probably won't work if you attach it to a vehicle because you're probably going to be moving too fast. Uh, the frame rate on the camera is not that high. But for doing an entire road in an hour, I think it's a pretty good deal. Um... So, that being said, I want to keep this video short. I'm already at a minute 30. Got to hurry it up. So, this does all the OCR, all the plate recognition on board. It stores the data on board. It does not need an internet connection. It does not need a cellular data connection. It does not need any connection at all. Other than to a phone of some sort or tablet or laptop to act as your visual feedback. So you know when the system has done a plate and whether it has done it correctly because it will show it in a list. It will store all of that information, date, time, location, plate guesses, and I, and I say guesses because it will make five guesses um, as to what the license plate is. I'm capturing the top three right now. I'm going to change that to the top five. So it t captures the top five guesses and stores all of that in a text file. Now a text file then can be read by a host application on a computer or a PHP code on a website to upload it to a database, which is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use PHP code because um, I know how that works. And I'm going to upload all that information to my database and then comes the fun part, statistical analysis. How many plates I can do in an hour. How fast the system goes. How fast I can do plates in an hour, which is going to be taxing. Um, I'm going to try and do as many as I can in one hour. Um, I am However, not going to time that at the time. I'm just going to go past an hour and time it later. Now I'm at three minutes. I better wrap this up. Hope you like the video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe for more. This system is going to be tested tomorrow. And subscribe for that video. Um, if it is already up, it's going to be right here. So you can click on through to that video. And uh, yeah, hope you like the video. I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe. See you next time.